You know, I never thought I'd be talking about this bro comedy on this channel, but here we are. I, like probably most of you, never watched The 40 Year Old Virgin for the clothing because I always just assumed it was pretty bad. Up until recently when I saw pictures of Seth Rogen's character Cal in some pretty cool band tees. And then I realized, oh, Cal can be kind of considered like a vintage collector. So what we're gonna do is go through Cal's wardrobe so you can see for yourself, is he a vintage collector or just some normie with some band tees? The 40 year old virgin was released on August 11, 2005, which is wild and sad for me to say because it makes me feel old. The costume designer for the film was Deborah McGuire, who's worked on film and TV shows like Friends, Freaks and Geeks, Super Bad, and a ton of other projects. So Seth Rogen's character Cal is a stoner and has a wide range of genres of music that he listens to. So because of this, in his wardrobe, he has a handful of different t-shirts ranging from genres like rap to grunge and all of them being within the 90s. So the first graphic t-shirt we see him in is this white Nirvana Nevermind t-shirt that was released in 1991. The graphic is of a baby swimming underwater chasing after a dollar. It's a classic album cover and t-shirt. And although it might be a little sus to wear nowadays, it has not stopped anybody from buying it. These shirts go for a lot of money now. Most recently, I saw a similar t-shirt sell for 500 bucks on eBay this past October. Next graphic he wears is a white and black ringer tee with the Sonic Youth Dirty album cover on it, which was released in 1992. With this one, I liked how it was a ringer t-shirt. I feel like graphics don't always look great as ringer tees, but this case definitely did. What's insane to me is that I saw a plain white one of these go for two racks on eBay, which is mind blowing. I have no idea if these t-shirts are like super, super rare, but personally, I just think it's pretty wild that somebody thought that that was a good idea. Next up, Cal is wearing this Public Enemy Fear of a Black Planet t-shirt, which was released in 1990 and is probably the best graphic t-shirt in the movie. Now this album had an insane joint collaboration with the legendary streetwear brand Supreme and the notorious Japanese designer brand Undercover. The collection is amazing. I suggest you all look it up because there's a lot of cool pieces in it. The album cover was inspired by Star Wars and it's pretty apparent when you look at it from the spatial influence to the font of the title, it looks pretty similar to the Star Wars font. So the cover is a picture of Earth getting casted into the shadow of this black planet with the public enemy logo etched or burning into the world. And then there's this green nebula floating underneath the title of the album. And then this is all just floating in this blue, navy, and black spatial atmosphere. Fun fact, the cover was actually designed by an illustrator that worked for NASA. This is such a fun and amazing piece of futuristic artwork, which is why so many brands coveted this album cover and have used it for their collections. Plus this album is still sonically revered to this day. Now, before I move on, I wanna talk about the rest of the outfit that he wears with this t-shirt when playing video games with Paul Rudd's character. Over the t-shirt is this faded navy zip up hoodie that's in more of a regular fit. And then on bottom, he has these straight leg jeans with like these blown out knees as well as this chain wallet. The jeans look like they came straight from like Helmet Lang or Number Nine's archives, and I can't really tell which one exactly. So the weft yarns of the jeans that he's wearing has kind of like a yellowish tint to it, which gives the wash such like amazing character. And I feel like that's more Number Nine, but then I feel like the fit of the jeans are more like Helmet Lang. But I don't know, you tell me, am I just being dumb or am I seeing something? But for a comedy, I thought Deborah knocked it out of the park with this outfit. It's probably the best you can do without making your character look too, too fashionable. Also, just as a bonus, I love that Paul Rudd is wearing a t-shirt with his face on it, and I wish I had it. The lore behind the t-shirt is that the photo is from when they were getting their pictures taken for their ID badges, and Deborah decided to screen print his on, his, on a t-shirt and just put it in his fitting room, and he just decided to wear it for the scene. The next and last graphic Cal wears is this white and green raglan shirt with the Liquid Swords album cover from Jizza, one of the members of the Wu-Tang Clan, and this album was released in 1995. Now, unfortunately, I'm not really a fan of the raglan shirt, especially as like a green and white color. I do love the album cover though. It looks gorgeous. I love the colors. I love like, I guess anime-esque kind of illustration. And I love the scene of just them like battling on like, I think what appears to be like a chessboard. Now what's interesting to me is that not only has Supreme done collaborations with Public Enemy, but they've done it with all of these bands. From the Kurt Cobain teen sweater to the picture from the Sonic Youth album, to the Liquid Swords cover t-shirt, and then finally to the Public Enemy drop. They've been inspired by all these bands and their artwork, and I just find it to be kind of funny that and unusual that all these bands were just in that one movie. Now, I have to be honest with myself and you guys. 
most likely at least half of those t-shirts are reprints because I've never seen a Ringer Sonic Youth t-shirt, nor have I seen a Raglan Liquid Swords tee, but please correct me if I am wrong. Now, besides the ripped up jeans look, the only other thing that I really took note of was these scenes where he's wearing this black back brace at work. And I know it seems funny, but I'm not gonna lie. Some of these shots kind of remind me of Leon the Professional if he was a stoner that worked at a tech store instead of a hitman that worked for a mobster. So although it's literally a back brace, there's something to this outfit. Obviously, you're not going to use a back brace, but something like a harness looks really cool with outfits, especially graphic t-shirts, I think. Take, for instance, former fashion YouTuber Sanjeev. I've always loved this look. I love how he laid in the harness with the graphic t-shirt. I think it elevates the outfit just like that much more. More stuff equals gooder. And if a harness is a little bit too much for you, you could always swap it out for a vest to kind of get that same effect. Kind of something like this. Now, Cal also wears some normie stuff like regular polos, Henley long sleeves, brown slacks, and none of them are all that like flattering on him. So he's definitely far from being a fashion icon, but he definitely has some cool looks in the film. But then again, he's also seen wearing a leather bracelet watch, which is just psychotic. So I definitely see overlap with the vintage community, even if some of them are reprints. I think also those jeans are definitely vintage looking to me. They don't look like they were pre-worn or pre-bought like that. I also see a decent amount of overlap with the Y2K fashion trend. And that's pretty obvious because this movie was released in 2005, but all those long sleeves layered underneath t-shirts and then the chain wallet, it all kind of just like screams, um, like Y2K fashion that's been popping off with Gen Z as of late. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm torn with deciding if he is a true vintage head slash fashionable person or not. In terms of fashion, I think he's too much of a mixed bag to be considered fashionable, but I definitely think he has potential with his band tee collection. I would just kind of need to see more and kind of understand why he got them. Like, are they just t-shirts from concerts that he went to? Or is there like some more meaning behind it? I don't know. But what do you guys think? Let me know if you guys think Cal is fashionable or not. While you're down there, like the video, subscribe, share it with a friend. Follow me on my socials, it's all linked down below. I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. That's gonna be it for me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, also had to wear a band t-shirt for this video. Power trip, rest in peace, Riley.